Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have another haul for you guys and it's a super drug haul. It's free for two at the moment and there's so many deals on so many different things. Skincare, tablets, things, <laughs> uh, makeup. How could I not buy? So I'm just going to jump straight into the video. So as it's free for two on, I believe it's makeup, nails, and I think beauty tools. Don't quote me on that. I know it's definitely nails and makeup. So obviously I had to stock up on my stick on nails. I raved about this before. I think it was in my favorites. Maybe not, but I did rave about it. They last so well considering they're $2.99. And they lasted me at least two weeks and then maybe one or two would fall off. So I went and got the, I believe they're all in square form, are they all in square? I don't know, but I got the short nails and I got this pinky one. I went and got a nude colour and I went and got like a reddish pink, I think it's like more of a like a dark pink colour. These are just great and handy, especially for someone like Lee, like, who doesn't paint their nails, who can never be bothered to paint their nails. Perfect. They also have, like, I just realised, I didn't even know they did them, but they do, like, plain ones. So you can paint your own colour, which I think is also handy. Another thing that is free for two, and I've actually wanted to start doing, I mentioned at the beginning of the year, I mentioned in, I think, my February's favourites, I want to start being healthy and look after my body inside and out. So I decided to start taking vitamins. And it's free for two, so I thought, perfect, why not start now? It's just hard to decide what vitamins to get. The one I definitely knew I wanted to get was the iron, because I am constantly tired. So I'm hoping taking some sort of iron tablet might help. This is, I think they're all everyday wellbeing, no. I think they're all the Superdrug's own brand, but it's, I got multivitamins and iron. They're all 60 tablets as well, so I got two months worth. I then went and got the immune defense vitamin C chewable ones. And then I also got the mobility and bones, cod liver oil and calcium. I thought it was a good range. I mean, tablets help for tiredness, tablets to help so I don't get sick, and tablets to help with my bones and mobility. <laughs> so yeah, I went and got them. Again, another deal. I'm telling you right now, go to Superdrug because there's so much going on. And for the Dove roll-on deodorants, which are my favourite ones, it's two for three pound. So I went and got my favourite scent, which is the pomegranate and lemon. Oh, it's a new formula. I hope that means it's still going to be good. And it's Go Fresh and another one from the Go Fresh. This was a new one, which is a pear and aloe vera scent. So I thought I'd try those too. In case you didn't know, I actually suffer from gum disease. Um, they're not bleeding at this precise moment, that's because of the routine that I do. And my dentist is very impressed with my teeth and how they're getting along. <laughs> I actually have an appointment soon. Oh, I hope I, I, I hope I still get my sticker. <laughs> but what I use to keep like the non-bleeding are these. They're pretty much dental floss. But the actual dental floss really hurts my teeth, well my gums, so I just use these instead, which is so much easier. And I've got the 0.7 millimeters, which are for my bottom teeth, and then I've got the 0.45 for my top teeth. I haven't actually done my top teeth, however, especially like this one here and that one, they like are starting to bleed, so I'm gonna have to start using this pokey thing for my top layer, so use these. If you suffer from gums and knees, start using these, it helps. If you've been following my channel or my blog or you just know me in person, you know how much I rave about the clay L'Oreal shampoos and conditioners. What are they actually called? They're the L'Oreal Paris L Vive shampoo and conditioners. I am obsessed with them. I have not tried another shampoo and conditioner since. Perfect for greasy hair. If you wash your hair in the morning, and by the time, like, the end of the day, your hair is looking greasy, definitely use that stuff. 
But I decided to get their clay mask. That's not a clay mask, that's how you sell mask. I don't know, but it's a pre-shampoo um, treatment. And I thought, we'll see how it goes. Maybe I won't even have to I've washed my hair like twice a week. It could be once a week if I use this. <laughs> but I don't know how to use it. There's no instructions. It just says like a pre-shampoo treatment. And my question is, do I use it on dry hair or wet hair? Someone please let me know. I'm going to have to Google it otherwise. But I'm impressed with the others. So hopefully this will impress me too. I am obsessed with like Instagram girls legs, does that sound creepy? <laughs> but I'm obsessed with how like tanned but oiled they are, like just glowy. I want glowy legs, I want glowy like collarbones, I want to be glowy. And so I saw this, I believe it's new, because I've never seen it before and I said the word new so I'm assuming it's new. It's called High Glow High Intensity, oh it's by Rochelle Humes. So it's from her, it's her range. And it's a light shimmer oil. Directions for your shake well before use. Smooth onto the skin to create a shimmery glow. Concentrate arms, legs. So yeah, I thought I'd try this out. I don't know if you can use it with fake tan or not. I'm not, I'm not really a moisturizing and delicate fragrance shimmer to create suitable for leaving you with a dewy finish. Okay, it doesn't say. But I'm not a big fake tanner anyway. So I mean, I am recently now, I am recently starting to fake tan a lot more, so I'll see if it works with fake tan and what it looks like without fake tan. So yeah, but I'll try this. And it was on a deal, I think it was like half price or something percent off. So it worked out to be like five pounds something for this bottle. And I feel like it will last. This, it looks like there's a lot in there. I don't know how much you use each time, but it seems like it will last a long time. I got face wipes. My typical one that I always get, Superdrug's own brand, cleansing facial wipes for combination skin. They're like a pound, 99p to be precise. <laughs> I really, really like these ones. They don't dry out. I hate the ones when you use them and like I just like will do this cheek and then it's like dry and then it hurts my skin. No, these, cheaper and they stay moist. <laughs> Onto like the makeup stuff that I bought. Surprisingly, considering it was free for two, I actually held myself back on from buying. But I did need to stop off on a few items, and one of those were my foundations, my like going out for courage ones, which are the Inflatable 24 Stay Fresh Foundation. Why does it say new? It's not new. What does it mean, the new packaging? I don't know. But I'm in the shade 120 Vanilla. It's what I've got on now. I just obsessed with this foundation. I have been using it for God knows how long. I just really like it and it stays put and it's a nice coverage for me. So I restocked on that. And then I also restocked on the Inflammable Sculpt L'Oreal Contouring Base. I'm not too sure what it means by contouring base. I thought a foundation was a contouring base, but I've been using it as a foundation and I've got the number three medium. Oh, is it a matte? I don't know. Well, medium to dark um, one. You can get a light one as well. This is just the perfect shade for when I actually fake tan. It matches my tan amazingly. And it's such a natural colour. It doesn't make you look orange. Like when I was wearing it when I had fake tan and I went into work, there's like, oh, Jennifer, you look so like tanned. I was like, oh, I'm, it's, it's this. I was like, it looks so natural. I was like, thanks. <laughs> so yeah, stocked up on that. Staying on like the foundation theme, I went and bought the L'Oreal, I just realised all of those was L'Oreal, um, True Match Super Blendable Foundation, I got the shade 2N Vanilla. I bought this foundation years ago, and I, I did like it, I was obsessed with it, but then I stopped liking it. But now, I don't know, did they redo it? I'm not 100% sure, but I know they did like the whole big marketing on it, so I assume they like maybe changed the formula, or maybe they just brought out more colours, I don't know. But I thought I'd re I'll try it again after all these years and see if I am um, in love with it again. Oh, I totally missed out this like skincare. Um, I went and got the Garnier Skin Active Moisturiser Bomb Tissue Mask. It's a new one, they also had the other face mask, which I really love. Um, and it was in their like star buys. But sheet masks are literally my obsession right now. I have I don't bother using any other face masks. They're just so much handier. I don't just put it on. 
and you just leave it. So yeah, I thought I'd try this one. It stays on for 15 minutes and it- Oh no! It's for dry and sensitive skin. I should really read things before I buy them. I have- Oh, I have combination skin! I don't know. Sometimes my skin feels dry. Hopefully it doesn't make me feel really greasy. So it claims to have skin feels intensely hydrated, skin feels soft and comfortable, feels suva. I don't- Oh! So that's in 15 minutes. And then in one week, so it says to do it for three times in one week. It feels, skin feels nourished, revitalised and comforts feelings of tightness. Hmm, interesting. I have oily skin around here, so we'll see what it's like. But one mask for one week of hydration. Let's see how it goes. So back onto the makeup side of my haul. I use cream contours, but I have palette forms and they are such a nuisance especially if you're traveling so i wanted to try the sticks so i thought i'd try the master contour uh by maybelline when i bought it i totally didn't even realize that it's actually got the like highlighty creamy side and then the contour side but i should have known that i've seen that before i don't know so i'm hoping this actually is really nice because it look that size it's the perfect to travel around in or throw in your bag or like makeup bag instead of a massive palette like what i have so fingers crossed i really like this and if not i'm gonna have to try out those stick forms because i just can't take the palettes around for me anymore then went and got a lip product i am obsessed with matte lipsticks or liquid lipsticks they just last so much better and I've tried going back and using lipsticks again, like the normal ones, and I just can't do it. They just don't look right anymore. <laughs> so I decided to go and try some Revlon ones, which is the Ultra HD Matte Lip Colour. And this one is in the shade Seduction. It just looks like a really nice nude. So that's what it looks like on. It smells nice. It smells sweet. It smells sweet. It doesn't smell like normal makeup. It's kind of kiddish. I kind of like it. They actually had some really nice colours in this range. So I'm hoping that the formula is nice. So I can actually stock up on the other colours. But this one just caught my eye out. And then finally my last product that I bought was a highlighter. In the summer slash when I'm tanner I prefer to have a gold highlight than like your silvery pinky ones. So I decided to go for this triple bake highlighter from the God Goddess of Love from I Love Makeup. So this is what it looks like. Do you know what? I haven't even swiped it. Ooh, that looks nice. I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually really nice in like person. I don't have the camera's picking up. The one thing I don't like is the packaging for this. It's cardboard and it doesn't look that nice. Like around the edges, it looks kind of cheap. But, oh well, it doesn't bother me. I feel like I heard someone rave about it, like these ones. I've never actually tried I Love Makeup. Aren't they the same as like Makeup Revolution? Is it Makeup Revolution? Or like from the same people? But hoping this will be nice. And that is everything that I bought from Superdrug. Definitely go there like tomorrow or whenever. Go today if you're watching this early enough. <laughs> because you're gonna need to get those deals. There's just so many good deals going on right now. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you have bought recently from Superdrug or if you've tried anything that I have bought. Please let me know your opinions and subscribe if you haven't already. And I shall see you next time, guys. Bye.